Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I finally bought myself a Enticer Deluxe, which is a 340 electric start. So it's the same thing as this, which is my other sled I've been riding for four years. But this one's electric start. You turn the key on and then you turn it to start it. Um, I went to Michigan, drove four hours each way to get this today left this morning at about 3 30 and didn't get back till 1 30 this afternoon it does have the option of the rpm gauge it's only got 4046.3 kilometers on it it's in pretty good shape everything seems to work that i've tested so far um there is a big crack in the hood there and a scuff on the other side which the scuff is no big deal. It's got a supposedly new battery, but it's obviously dead because nothing happens. So I bought this today. I paid $500 for it, then trucked it all the way here. So I got more than that in it. Um, the that thing ignition something or another don't remember exactly what it's called it was bad on this so I took the one off of this sled to put on it and what it is I paid 500 for it uh, I'll have 600 in it because of bringing it home and buying the new ignition which I'm gonna call it and this isn't working either so I gotta figure out what the deal is with that this emergency kill button but the tether does work and the key switch does work and as you see it's a little dusty so I need to fix this this and then there's a scuff right here that'll need some attention but it's an enticer deluxe the last time it was registered was in 96 in Michigan it's got a newer windshield on it not as new as mine you can hear that difference in the sound. Probably not on the video, but you can hear the difference in the sound. Um, update on this sled. It is all currently pulled apart right now. Engines pulled out because this past winter I noticed that the head gasket was leaking a little bit and since I'm anal about having things not mechanically um, we'll just put it this way I like to have things mechanically sound so when I dug into this, I don't remember which head it was. I think this one was loose. I mean, it wasn't tightened down to specs at all. 
So I bought, I ordered, it's not here yet. I ordered it yesterday. Today is Sunday. Ordered it yesterday, a top end gasket kit, which would be this gasket and the head gaskets, the exhaust and intake gaskets, head gaskets, if I didn't already say that. And then I bought a ring kit. Because these pistons are pretty good shape, except the top has some carbon buildup. And the cylinder bore is in great shape. So I'm just going to do rings while I have it apart. Um, the oiler works fine. The fuel pump, if I can find a new one, I'm going to replace because it does not work the greatest. Um, if you run it out of gas, you have to dump fuel into the cylinder to get it to start. It did go out since I had it because the first day we got it, or something like that, it ran out of fuel and I just dumped more in it and it fired right up. So the fuel pump has gone bad since I've had it. So I'm going to probably replace that if I can. Um, let's see here. The carburetor is in great shape. This thing ran excellent. I mean, the only issue was it was leaking out the head gasket, which is why I took it apart. There was no other issues with the engine. It ran perfect, ran like a dream. The only issue I had was last year when I was riding it, it lost power when I got into it and acted like it was going to stall. I let off and got back into it and it was fine. I don't know if that's when the head gasket started leaking or what the deal is, but it does have, let's see here, focus camera, 4,618.2 kilometers, and I've put almost a thousand of that on it, probably 800 in four years. But it is near perfect. So now I've got the two enticers I want, both, they're both 1980. Um, this one might eventually get restored. Once I ride it this winter, we'll see. Um, the high beam doesn't work, only the low beam on here. This button doesn't work. The tether does work. The key switch obviously works because that's how we shut it off. Um, it runs pretty good. He said they were um, using it. Their kids were running it. And they just outgrew it. So, I bought it, obviously, because not only are they fun to ride, but I collect. I think they're fun to do some collecting. They did make themselves a makeshift hitch on it, which looks like they just bolted on here. Yeah, it's just bolted on in already existing bolts. So that's something that if I replaced the mud flap and took some bolts out, that could be removed completely. But I'm going to leave it there because I like it for now. I do pull sleds with these sometimes. That one actually. Because I just bought this today. So now I have a hitch to hook it to. I already used that hitch once to pull this out of the truck with the 216. Um, it is currently 75 degrees and 50% humidity or something to that effect. So being air cooled and it counts on the winter cool air, I can't run it much. I did pull it back here with the lawnmower and push it in. Uh, I'm not going to run them around till winter. For any of you guys who might yell at me for doing anything like that, I drug it back here. Actually, with this lawnmower. Uh, it's our GT235 we mow with. I just wrapped the, or put the chain on the front bumper because it's already bent. It's bent out right there, bent in over there. I originally put the chain over there to try to bend that out, but it just came over to this side and it didn't bend it. It was already bent, but I love these old sleds. 
They're great snowmobiles. Um, I, I don't have very much room, and I can get them going pretty quick. I've had um, I've had this one up to probably 60 mile an hour, not kilometers. Kilometers an hour I can hit with my eyes shut. But this is going to be a fun toy to play with this winter. I do need to get the ignition ordered. I'm going to leave the one off that one on here and put a brand new one on that sled. I also need to order the shock for that sled, which is $40 off of Amazon. See here. This one seems to have a good, if I can talk, good shock in it. Um, any of you enticer guys out there that might be watching the video, let me know where I can get a new one of these decals. Because, as you see, it's getting yucky on this one, getting some rust going. So, they both have original seats. I believe they're both original paint. I know this one is. I'm 90% sure this one is. So, they're pretty nice sleds. I like them. I need a new decal set for this one because it's missing the piece that goes across the front. But, overall, oh. Hmm. Okay. Pull cord. Cigarettes, leaves, lovely. And obviously the hinge on this is broke. We'll just leave the pull cord in there just in case. Not that anything will happen. Because I can always grab the gator and drag it back over here to the barn. But that's the rundown on my new snowmobile. Um, I'm going to get this video uploaded today and I might make another one because I got some new tires on the 216 that everybody's going to love. So I'm going to get this one uploading I think and we'll go from there. Uh, this will be uploaded before the video of my newest 216 that I'm currently working on. Yes, that's the one that I was talking about. Um, it needs the fuel system. Actually, the fuel tank shutoff valve is plugged. And I put 100 pounds of air pressure through it and it wouldn't release it. So I got to pull that apart. I am going to get my brother's help or somebody's help to get that pulled. But that video is partially made. I just have to film the rest of it get somebody to get out here and help me and that'll be that if you're new here please like comment and subscribe the, I do have footage of riding this sled from the last two years I just have to get some time to get over to John's for a few hours and make a bunch of videos I got hours of footage and I'll probably only use a couple hours of footage make a few videos but I will be making videos this winter of riding them um, previously when I was videoing it I did not have a YouTube channel I was just videoing it for the pure fun to watch it in the summer because you know there's no snow in the summer and snow building's fun so watch that in the summer that's what I did but I will be getting some uh, footage uploaded eventually oh I have a cover for this one that's my brother's back there. It is the black version of this. I need a cover for this. If anybody out there has a correct cover, it is a 1980 Yamaha Enticer 340 Deluxe, which just means electric start. I do need a cover for it. It did not come with one. And I think the cover that came with that one's wrong. So if anybody has a cover for either of them that's correct, Hit me up. I would be interested in purchasing that from you. Um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And thanks for watching the video.